The Mercury and the Woodman A poor woodman was cutting down a tree near the edge of a deep pool in the forest. It was late in the day and the woodman was tired. He had been working since sunrise and his strokes were not so sure as they had been early that morning. Thus it happened that the axe slipped and flew out of his hands into the pool. The woodman was in despair. The axe was all he possessed with which to make a living and he didn't have enough money to buy a new one. As he stood wringing his hands and weeping, the god Mercury suddenly appeared and asked what the trouble was. The woodman told him what had happened and straight away the kind Mercury dived into the pool. When he came up again, he held a wonderful golden axe. Is this your axe? Mercury asked the woodman. No, answered the honest woodman, that is not my axe. Mercury laid the golden axe on the bank and sprang back into the pool. This time he brought up an axe of silver. Is this your axe? Mercury asked the woodman. But the woodman declared again that his axe was just an ordinary one with a wooden handle. Mercury dived down for the third time. And when he came up again, he had the very axe that had been lost. The poor woodman was very glad that his axe had been found and could not thank the kind god enough. Mercury was greatly pleased with the woodman's honesty. I admire your honesty, he said, and as a reward you may have all three axes, the gold and the silver, as well as your own. The happy woodman returned to his home with his treasures. And soon the story of his good fortune was known to everybody in the village. Now there were several woodmen in the village who believed that they could easily win the same good fortune. They hurried out into the woods, one here, one there, and hiding their axes in the bushes, pretended they had lost them. Then they wept and wailed and called on Mercury to help them. And indeed, Mercury did appear, first to this one, then to that. To each one he showed an axe of gold, and each one eagerly claimed it to be the one he had lost. But Mercury did not give them the golden axe. Instead, he gave them each a hard whack over the head with it and sent them home. The Goose and the Golden Egg There once was a countryman who possessed the most wonderful goose you can imagine. Every day when he visited the nest, the goose had laid a beautiful, glittering, golden egg. The countryman took the eggs to market and soon began to get rich. But it was not long before he grew impatient with the goose, because she gave him only a single golden egg each day. He was not getting rich fast enough. Then one day, after he had finished counting his money, the idea came to him that he could get all the golden eggs at once by killing the goose and cutting it open. But when he killed the goose, not a single golden egg did he find and his precious goose was dead. Those who have plenty want more and more, and they end up losing everything they have. The 
Fox and the Crow. One day, a hungry fox was searching for food. He searched and searched everywhere, but he could find nothing to eat. Then he saw a crow flying with a fine piece of cheese in her beak. That cheese is for me," said the fox, and he started following the crow. The crow sat on a branch and was about to eat the cheese when the fox shouted from below, "Good day, Mistress Crow!" The crow was surprised and looked down at the fox. The cunning fox said to the crow, "How well you are looking today! How fine your feathers are!" How bright is your eye! What exquisite beauty! Exclaimed the fox. Then the fox said, "Please let me hear your voice, which I'm sure will surpass all the others. Then I will declare you the queen of birds." The crow was truly delighted by the compliments, and the foolish crow even thought that her voice was beautiful. The crow lifted up her head and began to caw her best. But the moment she opened her mouth, the cheese fell down, and it was snapped up by the fox. Then the fox said, "You foolish crow! You should never trust flatterers." Ha 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 ha. The crow realized his mistake, and the fox then walked away. The farmer and his sons. A long time ago, a rich old farmer. Who felt that he had not many more days to live, called his sons to his bedside. My sons, he said, heed what I have to say to you. Do not, on any account, sell the estate that has belonged to our family for so many generations. Somewhere on it is hidden a rich treasure. I do not know the exact spot, but it is there, and you will surely find it. Spare no energy and leave no spot unturned in your search. The father died, and no sooner was he in his grave than the sons set to work digging with all their might. They turned up every foot of ground with their spades and going over the whole farm two or three times. In spite of all the efforts, they did not find any hidden gold. So they saw seeds of grain as they toiled hard on the farm. Harvest time, when they had settled their accounts and had pocketed a rich profit far greater than that of any of their neighbors, they understood that the treasure their father had told them about was the wealth of a bountiful crop, and that in their industry they had found the treasure. Two travelers and a bear.
One day, two men were traveling in company through a forest. Suddenly, a huge bear crashed out of the bush near them. One of the men, thinking of his own safety, climbed the tree nearby. He didn't even try to help his friend who stood on the ground. The other, unable to fight the savage beast alone, threw himself on the ground and lay still as if he were dead. He had heard that a bear will not touch a dead body. It must have been true, for the bear sniffed at the man's head a while and then, seeming to be satisfied that he was dead, walked away. The man in the tree climbed down. It looked just as if that bear whispered in your ear, he said. What did he tell you? He said, answered the other, that it was not at all wise to keep company with a fellow who would desert his friend in a moment of danger. Remember this, that misfortune is the test of true friendship. <laughs> Hi friends, did you have a lot of fun with the videos? Do you want more? Subscribe to our channel to have more fun with me. Click here to continue watching more such beautiful sing-song rhymes. <laughs> <laughs>